talk a little Perina here because this weekend is the 25th annual Begging Pet Parade in Soulard. And Senior Communications Specialist, Community Affairs with Perina, Dan Kohler. Dan, welcome back. Big 550 KTRS. Hey, guys. Thanks for having uh, me and Kaiser back yes, on. See you yes, guys. last time you guys were here, you were plugging the uh, dog game at uh, Bush Stadium, Yeah, right? Pooch is in the ballpark. Yeah. 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 We're, we're, yeah. we're excited for that one. We actually have, uh, we know when the date for that one is, and we got a Cards-Cubs game. Oh, uh, it's going to really? be in May. So be on the lookout for that. I'll come back in and talk with you guys about that one. And that well, sells we, out that. really fast. It, we we yeah. would much rather have you than uh, Jim Allen come on the show. Anytime, so that's, <laughs> I'll, that's I'll, awful nice. I'll make sure that you uh, let him know that. All right. What's coming up this weekend? <laughs> well, we got Sunday, February 4th. As you mentioned, it is the 25th annual Beg and Pet Parade. Uh, the event is the largest dog event here in St. Louis. We actually own a Guinness World Record. For the most dogs in costumed attire, <laughs> if you can believe that or not. Uh, and I've got Kaiser here donning his best Mardi Gras bow tie. And it is on Super Bowl Sunday. So I laid out uh, the Philadelphia Eagles shirt and my Patriots jersey. And much to McGraw's dismay, wah, wah. he chose the Patriots jersey Your today. Your dog is possessed by the devil. For <laughs> the, by uh, the way, Patriots. Kaiser is so good. He's sitting here in the chair like a human. Just yeah. sitting there as calm as can be. Yeah, you know, I, I, I tried to get him, uh, teach him a few sound bites, but I think he's a little <laughs> camera shy right now, unfortunately. So he's just going to hang out here, be a good boy, and uh, while, while we talk about the event. Uh, all right, so 25 years. Do you remember how it started? It actually started with Open Door Animal Sanctuary, who's still our shelter benefactor, that they got together with the owner of Clementine's, which is no longer down in right. Soulard, yeah. and they said, hey, you know what? We have the Grand Parade in St. Louis, but there's really not anything for pets. It's not a pet-friendly event, so why don't we put on our own pet parade? And it just grew and snowballed year after year to the fact now where we get tens of thousands of people down in Soulard, as well as we have, uh, like I said, the world record right. is near 2,000 dogs. So. You know, it, it's just grown, and, and people and, in St. Louis love their pets. And this right? is this is open to the public. Come one, come all. Yeah, so if you want to walk with your dog in the parade, we do require a $10 registration fee, but mm -hmm. that money goes directly to Open Door. This is their largest annual fundraiser every year. Right. But if you want to come out and just watch everything, it's completely free. Like I said, we get tens of thousands of people that just lie in the streets of Soulard yes. because they want to see these creative, hilarious dog costumes. You get some goodies along the way. Yeah. It is amazing. The... Um, the lengths that people go to with the costumes, because it's very, very impressive. It, it is. You know, and I always say it never ceases to amaze me, the creativity and the passion of yeah. these pet owners, not only because they love their pets, but just the effort they put into their costumes. And so this year, new, we've got an online costume contest, because we know sometimes when the crowds along the parade route get a little heavy, uh -huh. you can't see all mm. the costumes. And yes. if you're walking in the parade, you don't get a chance to see everybody's creativity. So we're partnering with the Post-Dispatch. You can go to stltoday.com backslash contest for more information on that. And you can choose the winners of this year's costume contest, oh, too. So there won't be, they won't be like on the stage doing it anymore like they We're normally? not doing it on the stage because okay. we got feedback that people were bummed that they didn't get to see yeah. all the yeah. costumes. So exactly. we're going we're gonna to pick out the That's best of idea. the best. And the fans and, and everybody here in St. Louis gets to vote on what they think is the best costumes uh, from the parade this year. Okay, so what's the website? That is stltoday.com backslash contest for the parade. But if you want to pre-register and you want to come walk in the parade, beganpetparade.com is where you want to go. You can register online through Friday afternoon. If you miss that cutoff, you can come out on site Sunday morning starting at 10 a.m. at the corner of 12th and Menard and register on site. Okay, and uh, beganpetparade.com has all the, this information. Has all the information you need for this weekend. Okay, yeah. so uh, registration starts at 10 a.m. on Saturday. On Sunday. So, on Sunday, Sunday, February 4th. Sunday, yeah. okay. Do you still have the hot dog races? The hot we did, the Wiener Dog the, Derby yeah. will happen. Uh, I think we've got that scheduled for 2 o'clock down yeah. at Soulard Market Park, and that's the, always a fan favorite, I was the too. MC for that. That's very difficult to do. <laughs> <laughs> number one, number two, oh, no, number, no, number four at the buzzer. It's, that's yes. not the... <laughs> um, all right, um, anything else? music? Go I know in years music, past... We'll have a, a Mardi Gras-themed Cajun band playing up at our registration okay. up at 12th and Allen. Uh, but then the parade will kick off at 1 o'clock, so if you're interested to, to come on out, um, Kaiser's uh, adjusting because he's he's looking out he to try and see if he can see the parade around. Here. Yes, well, he's kind of snubbing us since he he's is. a Patriots fan. He, wa he wants to make sure you can see that Gronk cheers. Yeah, you there. know what's interesting is there's so many creative um, costumes, including a dog in a uh, Eagles jersey. It would be really <laughs> creative, wouldn't it? Um, and I bet 
we're going to get a whole bunch of uh, Purina Beggin samples no, on the parade route. For sure. We'll, we'll be distributing those along the entire parade route. We'll also have Purina Row down across from Soulard Market Park on 9th, where you can stop by whether you're in the parade or you're just there viewing and pick up more, more than enough Purina samples. We were going over the, the list uh, earlier this week, and everybody should go home very well stocked with Purina. You know what really impresses me are the pooper scoopers. Yeah, that does come like in handy. They have a whole crew that picks well, it up. It's good. Yeah, because we want to make sure that, that we're being being good stewards in yes, the neighborhood of Sulard so nice in case anybody clean. makes messes. Well, yeah. yeah, yeah. Well, they well R and R Sanitation Porta Potties is the proud Porta Potty sponsor um, of everything, <laughs> and so I mean they haven't started making Porta Potties for Not dogs, for dogs yet. yet. But <laughs> when they do, it'll be R and R Sanitation. <laughs> All right, so we've got uh, this Sunday is the 25th annual Beg and Pet Parade. Uh, registration online at beganpetparade.com. That is correct. Uh, you can do it until Friday. After Friday, you have to show up at 10 o'clock. Where in, in, in Sulard? That is at the corner of 12th and Menard. And this is open to everyone. So if you want to mm -hmm. come down and register the, uh, the dog and walk in the parade, or you want to line the, the parade route and enjoy the world. And just yeah. watch the dogs. Right. Yeah, it's uh, de definitely a great spectator event. For mm -hmm. uh, the parade starts at 1. The Wiener Dog Derby starts at 2. Um, and the website to vote on the costumes? That is stltoday.com backslash contests. Uh, Mardi Gras has been around like... 33, 34 years? They've had a good stretch. Yeah, it's been yeah. longer than the pet parade. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. So yeah. how about that? 25 mm -hmm. years going strong. It's impressive. The world's yeah. the largest Daniel? dog per, uh, pets. Now, when yeah. you say pet, it's not just dogs. We do get people. Uh, I'm trying to think over the course of the years Maybe I've worked on the event. We've seen some pigs. I've seen a donkey. There's. I know there's been a llama, not when I've been on it. Well, that was carny. Uh, that doesn't count. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> what, I mean, what about a lion or a monkey or a yeah, tiger? We haven't, or... Seen it, we haven't seen anything that exotic. But, yeah, yeah it's the one, one thing to throw out to people, too, is, you know, there is going to be hundreds of dogs down there and thousands of people. So if you know your dog, like Kaiser's getting a little antsy right now, that yeah. maybe right. not going to be good in that environment, yeah. probably a good idea to leave them home for uh, the days yeah. come out. And please yes. bring a leash. They need to yeah. be leashed. Dan Kohler, Senior Communications <laughs> Specialist, Community Affairs with Perina. Thank you, sir. You're welcome here anytime. <laughs> Thank you, guys. Hey.